Hi, my name is Dan. I'm from Comic Pro, and today we're going to demonstrate a product called the Ship Miser, which we use to create cardboard packaging out of reused cardboard, basically, that we've taken from recycle bins. Um, first, I'm going to walk through a product demo myself, and then we're going to have my daughter Shelby do a product demo. She's never used the product before to just illustrate how simple it is to use the ship miser. Um, first, what we'll ship is a, a comic book. I've got one back here, Walt Disney Comics. Um, and we need some cardboard, which Shelby's gonna hand me. Usually, I have cardboard on hand that we've taken from recycle bins. You can get um, decent cardboard from sporting goods stores. A, a lot of times, you know, they'll be more than happy to give you stuff. They don't have to pay to get carted away. Um, today, I happen to have some boxes that are used for moving. I got them at the local Walmart. They're made by Duck. They're fairly, they're fairly inexpensive, and I use that as backup. Sometimes, you know... Uh, cardboard in somebody's dumpster gets wet or whatever, and this is a perfect thing to use in between. Um, be sure that whenever you're getting cardboard from somebody, you have their permission, and usually if you treat them with respect, they'll treat you with respect. I have a, uh, a, a place that gives me cardboard, and it, it's pretty much broken down nice and neat, put to the side for me, and I use it. Um, and it makes nice packaging, so, but this is, this is, like I said, from, from the local Walmart, it costs like 60 cents a box or something like that. Um, there are different types of templates. This one is actually for bags. We, we're going to do a comic book right now. So I'm going to use the current comic book template. Um, these can be labeled. There is a possibility by the time you see this video, these have been labeled differently. We're still in production of many different templates, but they'll all be for sale on the website or from your distributor. And there will be one that looks like this that'll do what you need to do. Um, basically, what, what we use to... We lay the template on the cardboard. You want to make sure, you know, um, well... I like to make sure that we plan ahead on our cardboard usage, um, depending on the cardboard. You'll actually, it's kind of weird, you'll get to know what cardboard is good to use for what kind of stuff you're going to ship. Um, but we'll talk more about that at a later time. I like to use these blades. We provide them on our website. They're called handy cutters. Um, and what they have inside is basically a one-sided safety razor blade. And it goes in there. And the reason I like to use it is because it runs along the edge of the template. It, it's nice and flat, and it goes along the side of the template, and it makes it easy, especially if you're not that skilled with a cutter. It makes it easy to cut the templates out. Basically, you're just going to use the cutting side of the blade. You're going to push down on the template on top of the cardboard. Make sure you're cutting on, on top of something. They, they make... Um, professional cutting mats, especially for the graphics industries and stuff like that. Um, they, they're usually four by eight sheets. It doesn't fit well on a, uh, a folding table. They have all different sizes. I have tons of cardboard around. I made my cutting mat out of cardboard. Um, <laughs> so put your hand on the template. You watching, Chell? I'll walk you through it. Um, blade side to the cardboard, you're just going to run it, I'll do from the side first, run it along the side and push down on the blade, all right? In between each cut is a good uh, time to reposition your hand because you want it near where you're cutting, okay? And just push down and basically just outline the pattern onto the cardboard and you'll see here, it lifts right off. Um, let's come along the top. Now, I don't know, some people have problems. I have gotten used to, I actually forced myself 
to come handy with the left hand on this. A lot of people aren't. The knife is sharp. Just do whatever you're comfortable with. Um, Shelby. <laughs> Uh, but you'll see, even with the left hand, you just ride it along the, the side. Don't have to go fast. Take your time. Same thing here. And then again along this side. And then if it sticks a little, like it did here, my, hand, my left hand isn't as strong as my right, just cut it again. Both sides out. Oh. And it's done. What you wind up with here is the T shape of the cardboard. Looks just like the template. Now we're going to want to ship the comet. Now, you're saying, well, this is just a T. How does it become a box? Well, the concept of it is that these two flaps will fold over the comet. And then we kind of roll it up in the rest of the cardboard. <clears throat> then we tape it shut. You don't want to do it with the comic inside. So what I've made, and it comes with the template. We, cut, we send this with two of them. <clears throat> we have what I called, I like to call them fillers. Um, basically, you'll stick them in there. They'll be in the shape of your product. In this case, it's a comic. It may be um, a record or a CD or whatever. Depending on, on how many you're going to put in, you can put more of these fillers in there. Um, basically, with these fillers, what you can do is just take the cardboard and fold it up against the filler and fold it over. And then do the same with the other side. Fold it up against the filler and then fold it over. Okay, and if I take the fillers away, you can see what happens is it puts the crease in the cardboard for you. They can't see, right? Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and that makes the box nice and square, easy to put together and tape, and it, it just looks professional and nice in the shipping process. Same thing, you're going to want to do the same thing with going over side to side. So we go over, we go over once, we still have this part open. We're going to go over again. And what you have here is comics that are totally enclosed in the box. Now the end here is a little bit hanging off. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the blade and cut that so it's nice and flush and then tape that edge. We'll, you know, tape all the edges and, and put your label on it and ship it to your customer. Um, but you don't want to ship the fillers. <laughs> but we want to ship our comic books. So uh, each one of these filler templates for the comics is about two comics. So if you're doing one or two, just use one. Um, the pressure of taping in combination with the folded over cardboard will keep it from moving. Um, if you want have four or five, use two. Um, put it up next to, since comics are all different thicknesses, you may want to lay it down and put it next to what you're shipping and see how many you're going to need. Um, comics. People who handle comics on a regular basis are aware that, you know, you have the end that's bound. So you're going to want to do it this way, that way kind of thing. Um, makes it flat, keeps it from putting undue force on the spine. And basically the comics just sit in there. You fold your sides over. You roll it up. And you tape it and you're ready to ship. All right, so what are we, I'm going to have Shelby ship some bags. Uh, I guess the first thing you're going to want to do is grab the template that we use to ship comic bags um, and put it down on the cardboard. Okay. You got it lined up with the bottom, and it's it's clear of all the 
the cuts or whatever that's on the cardboard? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, basically put pressure on the tamper, template and uh, cut the side. All right, and then you can cut along that top of the T and cut along the side. And do you feel that, is it cutting through? Yeah. It is. Okay, be careful pulling with the blade. You don't want to pull it with the blade facing towards you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you can rotate that if it makes it you more comfortable. Make sure now, now it's your side, but make sure that it's lined up with where you were before. Okay? Okay. And then cut this end. Great. And then you can rotate it again and cut the other side. Is it all free? It is now. Okay. There you go. Pull away that excess cardboard. Good job. Um, yeah, just put it in there. There you go. Okay. okay. Um, maybe flip it over so the yeah, this way the any printing is on the inside. All right, you've got the, the current bags there. Um, looking at that thickness, you're going to need more than one filler, I'm assuming, correct? Probably, yeah. Usually, I think we use two. Put it next to it just to see. Yeah. Yeah, so that'll work. Now, these are the same size as comics. The bags are longer. So you're going to want to rotate. Well, all right, you could do it that way. You could scoot it from one side to the other. I, I like to rotate it so I get a nice straight line with the side of the cardboard. Yeah. And then you can just fold the flaps over. There you go. Good. And then do the same with the other side. Excellent. And then rotate it sideways. Right. And fold the flaps over. Put it in the middle. There you go. Fold the flaps over. Get the right. And just go end over end. Yes. Yep. And you can do it again. No, if you loosen it up a little and then you can push those in so they're even with the cardboard. Great. And just, there you go. And it's almost like you only need to apply pressure near the corners. There you go. And just fold it over again. And... You've got a rectangular box, and when you tape it, you'll, you know, with the, the cardboard, the comic bags in there. Right, just fold them over and fold it over. And then you'll be able to tape it just fine. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Say bye, everybody. <laughs>